Today I'm going to teach you how to create your own unique planet by using just a simple texture. Welcome to the first episode of Do It Better. I am Mr. 23 and the purpose of this tutorial is to use what I'm teaching you today and to create your own design, then send me your creations and by the end of the month I will announce the top 10 winners in a brand new video. So the beauty of uh, this technique is that you can create a planet from any texture that you want and if you select a different part of uh, the same texture you'll get a different type of planets. So let's begin by taking the crop tool and we need to select a square. So hold shift while you are using the crop tool and drag something like uh, a square, something like that. Double click on the image. Be sure that if you are using the crop tool, this delete crop pixels is not selected because otherwise it will cut your image and you cannot move it. If you take the move tool, you can search for a better part of this uh, texture. Now you need to take the rectangular marquee tool and select everything on the screen. Then right click on the image and press layer via copy. Now go to filter and choose desert and then spherize. And be sure the amount is 100% and press ok. If you are happy with this result you can move on with the next step. If not you can press the same effect again. So go to filter, you can press the spherize here, it's just the last filter used or you can go again to desert and choose spherize and the same settings and then press ok. All we need to do is select this shape with elliptical marquee tool. So right click on the rectangular marquee tool and choose the other one. Just hold shift while you are making the selection and then release it and move it on the screen and if you didn't select uh, all of it you can right click and choose transform selection. Now you can move one of the corners to select more. When you finish just press enter and then press the mask. Alright now you have selected your planet. You can right click and convert it to a smart object. And now we are going to drag this planet into our new document where we are going to create the rest of the design. So when I imported my planet uh, everything was too big and I press Ctrl T make it uh, smaller and then I rotated it a bit clockwise because I didn't really like that position. Then after I rotated my planet I discovered that this area I didn't really like it at all because it was too bright. So for that I press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer and press again Ctrl T and I made the planet bigger. Then I drag it a bit to the bottom and press between the layers and include that planet inside my little planet. Then I want to add a mask and mask the the rest and keep only this bottom area. So I hold alt and press the mask. This will add an inverted mask. Now take the brush tool and with the white color if you paint here on the bottom it will bring back a part of the big planet. So after we finished with positioning and masking everything with the planet let's go ahead and modify the colors. First settings is using the selective color. You can find selective color here on the adjustment layers. Then on the selective color let's go ahead and take the first one it's red and I have modified the reds. So every settings that I modify you can use your own settings or you can use mine. It's not really that important it's uh, just a mood thing how you feel the colors at that moment. Then I have modified the blues then the magentas and the blacks. Then I took the color balance that you can find here on the adjustment layers and on the color balance I have modified the midtones, I have increased everything, then the shadows and the last one the highlights. Then I use the channel mixer and on the channel mixer I have modified only the reds and the last one I used selective color again and on the selective color I have increased the cyan and increased everything in the blues part but decreased the yellows. But before uh, going to add another layer, let's hide the planet for a bit and go to our background. I'm interrupting this video because something extraordinary just happened yesterday. The official Photoshop Instagram page just shared my work, my collab with Arian Visuals and at this moment when I record this video, this design has almost 34k likes and it's just insane. 
for me being featured by Photoshop it's just a dream come true to have my work recognized and appreciated by the ones that invented this program. Sorry for the interruption, it's just an amazing news for me and I wanted to share with you this incredible moment. Let's move on with the tutorial. So on, on our background I wanted to add a bit of light, so I added those two colors, a blue and red. The first one was this reddish color and it's just a normal layer set to the color blending mode. So go and create a new layer, take the brush tool and here on the blending modes choose color and then choose your color in our case was red and now if I paint with the red color it will uh, add that reddish color to my background that was the red color and on the blue color I used the same method but this time the mode was lighten not color let's get back to our planet now because we have this uh, blue color here on the background I added a bit of highlights or blue reflections on the planet by using the linear dodge. So if you want to do this type of uh, highlights, go to layer, new layer, here choose the mode green and fill it with black. And be sure that you are adding this layer inside your planet layer by holding alt. Then take the brush tool and choose that bluish color in our case this one and then if you are painting on the side something like that it will add that blue color to your planet but it is too strong even if you decrease the opacity it won't look uh, the same if you are not using the blend if so double click on the layer and now hold alt and drag this slider to the right and it will disperse the lights much better and now you can paint again on the same area after you applied the blend if so it looks much better now all right so now our planet it's almost ready but i wanted those parts of our planet to pop up even more so first thing i painted by using the lighten blending mode those parts of the planet with the blue color create a new layer and then change the blending mode to lighten now if you are painting here it will be the same problem the color is too intense that means we need to double click on the layer and use the blend if so hold alt and drag the slider to the right so you can paint with that blue colors on those craters or whatever they are or we imagine that they are and it will uh, brighten those areas even more so this is the first step that i did here then i did the same thing but this time with the overlay so create a new layer and set the blending mode to overlay and use the same color and now if you are painting on the same areas it will brighten even more by using this overlay blending mode then i want you to take care of the other color which in our case is that red color so i created another layer and this time the blending mode was color dodge and now i am switching to the red color and with this uh, color dodge i'm going to to slowly paint on those areas where we have that red color we are almost ready and the last thing it's increasing a bit the highlights on the areas that we have those uh, very bright uh, parts of our planet so in order to do that i'm going to make a screenshot so press ctrl alt shift and i and we have a screenshot of all the layers that we have so far so after i made a screenshot so now i have this screenshot for from everything that we have so far I'm going to select those really bright and open areas from my uh, image go to select and choose color range and if we are pressing once it will select the color that we want now if you hold shift you'll see a plus on the screen and you can select even more colors something like that all right and then press ok and it selected the bright areas from our design and then I can press the mask tool so we have those little areas selected that were really bright and then on this new layer I'm going to add a brightness and contrast to increase the lights so add a brightness and contrast and press alt to include it inside only that layer and then if you increase the brightness you'll see that it will increase only those areas all right so after I finish with all those uh, details on the planet I have placed everything into one group and to this group 
I will apply again more settings. First one was exposure. I added an exposure adjustment layer. So go to adjustment layers and here choose exposure and I decrease the exposure something like 3%. And then with the brush tool and the black color, I paint it on the right side so I can have my left side of the planet darker and my right side of the planet more brighter. Then with the soft light, I wanted to darken up a bit the craters. So go to layer, new layer and here choose the mode soft light and fill it with 50% gray. Then take the brush tool and the black color and let's zoom in. Then with the black color, I painted a bit on the sides of my craters. So I wanted to have the focus more on the bluish color and on the sides I wanted to have some darkness. The last one was this linear dutch where I wanted to have some more uh, colors on my planet but as I said you can give up on this one or you can use it. Let's see what I did. So go to layer new layer and here this time choose linear dutch and fill it with black. Press ok and don't forget to clip this layer inside the group layer by holding alt and press between the layers. Then take the brush tool and now uh, you need to take care of the colors regarding of the colors that you already have on the screen. So if we have uh, the red color here on our planet, I will paint with the red color to brighten up that area. If I have uh, this uh, blue color, I will switch to a uh, blue color something like that and I'm continue to paint on those areas with that blue color and then here on the top I want to have a bit of orange not that red color so I switch to the orange color and I want to have some orange parts here on the top and then I double click on the layer and added this blend diff to decrease a bit the intensity of the colors that I have used so press alt and drag the right slider to the right and then press ok the last thing that I did was adding a bit of glow on top with this linear dodge the layer new layer and choose linear dodge and fill it with black and then uh, i wanted to have some red on the right side so i painted a bit with the red color and then here on the other side i painted with the blue color something like that and i have painted over and then i think now uh, this red is too intense so i am going to switch to the black color and now if i paint over it will disperse those colors. The last thing that I'm going to show you today is the camera row filter. For that go and press Ctrl Alt Shift and I, right click, convert it to a smart object. Then go to filter and choose camera row filter. So on the camera row filter I have decreased the temperature and tint to have this bluish tone and then increase the exposure and contrast and decrease the highlights, shadows and whites. I have increased the blacks texture clarity and dehaze and on the detail I have increased the sharpening noise reduction and color noise reduction and at the end here on the bottom I have calibrated a bit the colors because I wanted to have more intense colors so that was everything that I did here on the camera row filter so after I finished this design this tutorial uh, this method uh, got me so intense that uh, I wanted to try and uh, create different type of planets so I went to the Unsplash uh, website and uh, searched for more texture so those are the texture that I have uh, found on the Unsplash they are all free you can use those one and of course there are like hundreds more over there and uh, using those texture and the same method that I just showed you I have created those other planets so yeah this method it's uh, really amazing because you can create your own planets and i think this is really amazing because it's just a matter of imagination you can create like something really crazy and uh, look really 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 unique so if you watch my tutorial so far i have an announcement to make it's the first time when i organize a contest so this is the idea use this planet that you'll create by watching my tutorial with the same texture that i have used and then you can add more elements to it, your own ideas. The deadline for this contest is Friday 27 August and you can send me your finished works by email which is mr23designer at gmail.com. If you want to post them on your Instagram account, just use the tag 
Mr. 23 Planets. In order to give you an example, this is what I have created by using this tutorial. I hope that I made you curious to try this content and I really cannot wait to see your ending designs using my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you learn new things from me today I would love to see your opinion and please don't forget to comment or like this video and also if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do it fast so you can be notified anytime that I post a brand new tutorial. See you next time.